Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today I thought I'd show you what is, in my opinion, the top three best budget prepping ham radios on the market. Now, the main reason why I chose these three radios and not a Bofeng or anything else is that all three of these radios have excellent working spectrum analyzers. And the RT-880 even has HF transmit and HF receive. And in my opinion, the spectrum is one of the most useful features on a prepping radio because you can listen to a few megahertz of bandwidth at the same time. So for example, you can listen to all of your GMRS channels, all of your PMR or marine channels, all of your local interoperability VTAC channels at the same time. Now, the radios that I chose for these videos are the Rattel RT-1890, the Rattel RT-900, and the Rattel RT-880. And this one, in my opinion, is the best prepping radio on the market, and you can get it for $70. The RT-900 costs $35 for the Bluetooth version, and the RT-1890 costs $30. I'll be leaving links to all three of these radios beneath the comments and in the video description. Also, Rattle confirmed that US buyers won't have to pay any extra tariffs. And if you choose to buy straight from their website and use the link beneath the comments and the code TAC, you receive a 5% discount during checkout. Now, I'm going to be discussing the features and strengths of all three of these radios, but first, I want to address the importance of owning at least one radio. Because if you're a prepper and you don't own a radio yet, you're leaving yourself and your family extremely vulnerable. You should have at least one radio in your bug out bag for an SHTF scenario. Now, in the situation of a war happening in your country, or countrywide blackouts like the ones that recently happened in Spain and France, or even worse, global blackouts, if a global blackout lasted for one year, it is highly likely that billions of people would die, especially if it was caused by something like an EMP solar flare or cyber attack that crippled infrastructures at a global scale. According to a 2008 U.S. Congressional EMP Commission report, a nationwide blackout in the U.S. lasting one year could result in 90% population loss. With no internet or cell phones, having any of these three radios that you can charge via USB-C from your car, a generator or a solar panel, and you can listen to broadcast radio for news, you can listen to your local police and fire departments for information, the marine band, or even for the US, you have dozens of analog interoperability channels like VTAC for law enforcement, VMED for medical, VSAR for search and rescue, FEMAPS, fire attack, and so on. And I have a video on my channel showing how to find and program all of these frequencies to your radios. Also, if you have two of these radios, you can keep in touch with your family when you're away from home. Okay, and now let's have a look at the radios. I'm going to start with the cheapest, and that's the Rattel RT-1890. And as I mentioned previously, you can buy this radio for $30 or less if there's a sale going on. On the side, you have the USB-C charging port and the audio jack, the bell clip on the back, now, in terms of power output, this radio is sold as a 5W radio. However, during testing, it outputted over 6.5 watts on VHF and UHF. The spectrum analyzer on this radio works extremely well, and you can change the step size, the modulation from FM, AM, and USB. One thing that I should mention is that the other two radios come with the spectrum analyzer as standard. However, with this one, you need to install the latest M7 OCM firmware from the Rattles website. And you're going to get eight scan lists that work like zones, the spectrum analyzer. You can change modulation from AM to LSB, USB, and FM. This radio also has 1000 channels and a 2000 milliamp hour battery. One reason why I really like this radio is that it's extremely small, so it's actually pocketable if you don't have the bell clip. And uh, as I mentioned previously, you have the USB-C charging port on the side. And uh, all three of these radios, all of them have USB-C charging. 
And yeah, for $30 or less, it's an extremely good radio and one of my favorites. And now let's have a look at the RT900. And this radio is $35. And for $35, you're getting an 8 watt radio with 512 channels and also Bluetooth programming. This radio also has a really good spectrum analyzer. You can change the squelch line from the channel selector knob. You can also change the modulation to AM, just like the RT1890. And you can also change the step size. Now, if you go to the menu, you can select the modulation between FM and AM on any frequency. So that's extremely useful for the military airband, for example. And you can also do that on the RT-1890 and 8080. And uh, it also has Bluetooth programming. So for $35, you get a radio that you can program with your iPhone or Android phone. 8 watts, great working spectrum analyzer, 512 channels. I think it's 2200 milliamp hour battery. And that's the K-type connector port the USB-C charging port and uh, yeah again superb radio uh, one of my favorites and uh, keep in mind I own over 15 radios and uh, these three are my favorite and uh, they also happen to be the cheapest the two on the left the one on the right is slightly more expensive however I do think it's the best radio on the market so uh, now let's get started with the Rattel RT880 and this is the 880G GPS version. And the only difference between this one and the regular RT880 is that this one has GPS and APRS. The regular one costs $70. The GPS version, I think around 90, so an extra $20. Personally, I would recommend you go with the GPS one, so you'll have the full package. However, if you don't need it, you can just buy the $70 version. Now, I'm going to start naming the reasons on why I think this is the best prepping radio on the market. And uh, first of all, this radio has three VFOs, so you can listen to three different frequencies or three different channels at the same time. And you can select different modulation for each three of the VFOs. So extremely useful for listening to military airband, for example, and uh, VHF or UHF. Also, this radio has the best working spectrum analyzer that I've seen on any radio. And uh, it also has some extra functionality. So for example, long pressing the menu key will eliminate any frequency that you don't want to listen to. For example, if there's a continuous transmission that you want to eliminate, you can do that. And uh, pressing the menu key will change modulation from uh, FM to AM and SSB. Also, looking at the radio, on the side you have the GP328 Plus audio connector and the USB-C charging and programming port. And uh, if you're worried about the audio connector, you shouldn't because you can find really cheap accessories. For example, a microphone is approximately $5. Looking at the top of the radio, you'll notice that it has an extra antenna port. And it does come with a cover that makes it look like a channel selector knob. However, I added this uh, BNC adapter. And uh, the middle antenna is used for the FM radio function. So uh, you can plug in an antenna, uh, for example, for HF. Or it could be just a really long wire because the middle antenna is receive only. So it doesn't really matter. The longer the wire, the better the receive. And one more thing that I should mention is that transmit is done only through the left antenna. And that's also for CB, like 27 megahertz, or VHF and UHF. The middle one is for the FM radio function. So uh, when you start it, everything you're going to hear through it is done through the middle antenna. You can uh, select the frequencies and you can also fine tune it, change the BFO. You can also save the channels in, uh, in your radio straight from the keypad or from the programming software. Sure, pressing the hash key will allow you to change modulation from uh, FM to LSB, USB, and CW. 
long pressing the hash key will change the working frequency range. So for example, right now it's between 528 and 1700 uh, kilohertz. And yes, you can change the modulation on uh, any of the frequency ranges. Also, I know someone that used the same model of radio as mine to make a contact over 1000 kilometers away on 28 megahertz. And that was using only a cheap $5 telescopic antenna. And that's because this radio outputs approximately 4.6 watts on uh, HF. And for those of you that don't know, on HF, you can reach people thousands of kilometers away. And that's because the radio waves bounce off the ionosphere, unlike VHF and UHF, that's only line of sight. And that's why I think that this is the best prepping radio on the market, because not only that it does 10 watts on VHF and UHF, and it's fully unlocked, so there's no restriction on where you can transmit, but you can also listen to shortwave, medium wave, and HF. So you can get information from countries that are thousands of miles away. And not only that, in case of necessity, you can also contact someone that's uh, thousands of miles away by um, transmitting on the HF bands. Again, for $70, you're getting a 10 watt radio with three VFOs capable of listening to shortwave, medium wave, HF, and also transmitting on HF. It has over 1000 channels and 256 zones, has the best working spectrum analyzer on any radio. And uh, even if you were to spend $800 to buy a Kenwood, for example, I don't think that it's better than this in terms of prepping. And just going to remind you again that if you want to buy this radio or any of the other two, if you use the link pinned in the comments or video description and the code TAC during checkout, you're going to receive a 5% discount. Also, if you're not to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and 7-3.